Have you ever caught yourself just going through the motions, feeling like life is happening around you but not really living it? Do you find yourself stuck in the same routines, feeling empty inside? And with all the stress and busyness of today's world, how can the old wisdom of Buddhism help us find a better way to live, filled with peace, kindness, and real happiness? Welcome to our journey here on the Wisdom in Real Life YouTube channel. We're diving deep into these big questions, showing you how Buddhism's timeless advice can really change your life for the better. Life today is full of distractions. Our phonies, the push to work harder, and the chase after things we're told will make us happy can actually lead us away from the joy of truly living. It can trap us in a cycle where nothing feels really fulfilling. But imagine if we could break free from that cycle. What if we could really enjoy life, find peace, and live with a true sense of purpose? Today, we're inviting you to join us on an amazing journey. We're not just talking about ideas. We're offering real steps you can take to face life's ups and downs more calmly and with a clear mind. We're going to talk about some really interesting topics all about how to live a better life by understanding Buddhist ways. We'll cover how to fully enjoy each moment, how to handle tricky situations and people, how to find joy and simplicity, and how to build relationships that really support and grow with you. Each part of our talk is packed with stories, examples, and easy steps that connect with our everyday life. We'll look at everything from learning to see the beauty and change to managing our emotions, to making our relationships stronger and more meaningful. This journey we're taking together is about more than just watching a video. It's a chance for you to think about your own life and how you can live more deeply and lovingly. It's about finding ways to break free from the things that hold you back and discovering a life filled with more meaning and happiness. We truly believe that by the end of this video, you will have new insights into how to make your life better, how to be calmer, and how to treat yourself and others with more kindness and understanding. So, we invite you to join us with an open heart, ready to learn about the incredible wisdom Buddhism has to offer. And if what we share today speaks to you, helps you in any way, please like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. Your support means we can keep bringing you videos that really make a difference in your life and in the lives of others around you. Stick with us until the end, and you might just find something that sparks a positive change in your life. 1. Living to the fullest with Buddhism Living a full life is something we all want, but it's not always easy to do. Buddhism offers a simple yet powerful way to really enjoy every moment of our lives. It teaches us to be mindful, which means paying attention to what we're doing right now without worrying about the past or the future. This way of living can help us find happiness and peace in the little things. Being mindful is about enjoying what we're doing, whether it's eating, walking, or talking to someone, by fully focusing on it. Imagine really tasting your food, feeling the sun on your face, or listening to a friend. This doesn't mean changing your whole life, it just means changing how you see and experience things. When we're mindful, we're not as stressed and we appreciate life more. Buddhism also talks about impermanence, which means everything changes and nothing lasts forever. This might seem sad, but it actually teaches us to value every moment more because it won't last. This helps us let go of our regrets and worries about what's next, making us enjoy the present more. Letting go of things we're attached to, like stuff, our job title, or even people, can also make us happier. Buddhism shows us that real joy comes from inside us, not from things outside. When we let go, we're not tied down by our wants, and we find happiness in simpler things, like being with friends or enjoying nature. Embracing life's ups and downs is another part of living fully. Buddhism teaches that challenges are a normal part of life and can help us grow. When we face tough times mindfully, we can handle them with kindness and learn from them instead of just wishing they'd go away. Mindfulness can also make our relationships better. 
When we're fully there with someone, listening and talking, we connect on a deeper level. Being mindful means we understand others better and care more about them, which makes our friendships and family bonds stronger. Starting to live mindfully can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths in the morning to calm ourselves, eating without watching TV, or taking a walk and really noticing everything around us. These small steps can lead to big changes in how we feel in life. Being kind to ourselves is also important. Living fully means knowing what we need and treating ourselves well. It's about taking breaks when we need them and not being too hard on ourselves when we make mistakes. Being good to ourselves helps us be happier and more at peace. Finding others who are also trying to live mindfully can give us support and friendship on this journey. Sharing our experiences and what we're learning can make us feel connected and help us keep going, especially when it gets tough. In the end, living fully with Buddhism is about being truly present in our lives, valuing each moment and finding joy in the simple things. It's a journey to waking up to the beauty around us, accepting that everything changes and finding peace inside ourselves. By being mindful, letting go of what ties us down, and treating others and ourselves with kindness, we can live a life that's full of happiness and meaning. 2. The Power of Repetition in Buddhist Practice The idea behind the power of repetition in Buddhist practice is a lot like taking care of a garden. Just as you need to water seeds regularly for them to grow into beautiful plants, your mind and heart can grow stronger and more peaceful through repeating good practices. Buddhism teaches us that doing positive things over and over again can really change our lives, helping us feel more at peace, happy, and understanding. Think of repetition as watering the garden of your mind. Every time you sit quietly to meditate, focus on your breathing, or think kindly about yourself and others, it's like giving water to that garden. With each day that passes, if you keep caring for it, you'll start to notice the first signs of mindfulness beginning to show. This doesn't happen right away, but the more you do it, the more you'll see your life start to change. But repetition in Buddhism isn't just about doing the same thing many times. It's about getting deeper into understanding and caring each time you do it. Every time we choose to meditate, even if it's just for a short while each day, we're giving ourselves a chance to learn a bit more about ourselves. We're taking steps toward feeling calmer and more at peace. Repeating these practices helps you form good habits. Just like we brush our teeth every morning without even thinking about it to keep our teeth clean, regular Buddhist practices become habits that keep our minds in good shape. These habits help us handle whatever life throws at us in a calmer and more loving way instead of getting stressed or upset. One cool thing about doing something over and over is how it teaches us to be patient. It shows us that things don't change overnight. Just like it takes time for a tree to grow tall, it takes time and steady work for us to grow inside. Being patient with ourselves is a wonderful thing we learn from repeating our practices. But it's not about just going through the motions. Every time we repeat a practice, we try to do it with full attention and awareness. This makes every repetition a chance to discover something new and meaningful. These repeated practices also help us understand that things always change, which is a big idea in Buddhism. By doing something many times, we see how our feelings about it can change each time. This helps us get better at dealing with change and seeing that the tough times, as well as the good times, don't last forever. Doing these practices with others can make them even stronger. When we all sit together to chant or meditate, the energy we create together makes the practice even more powerful. It helps us feel connected to others and to everything around us. Repetition also helps us stay focused in a world that's always trying to distract us. By sticking to our practice regularly, we train our minds to focus on what's really important, letting go of the small worries that don't help us. And the best part is, anyone can do it. It doesn't matter if you're just starting to learn about mindfulness or if you've been practicing for years. 
The simple act of doing these positive practices over and over can open up a world of peace, understanding, and kindness. To wrap it up, repeating Buddhist practices is like watering the seeds in your mind's garden. It's simple, but it can lead to big changes like more peace, patience, and kindness in your life. It's a path that asks for patience and effort, but the rewards are huge. A peaceful mind, a loving heart, and a life lived fully aware. Through repetition, we learn to embrace life's changes, deepen our understanding, and connect more deeply with the world. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Navigating Life's Secret Wars – Emotional Resilience and Buddhism Life is full of hidden challenges. We all face stress, worries, and pressures that can feel like invisible battles. But there's hope, and it comes from an unexpected place – the ancient teachings of Buddhism. Buddhism offers us special tools to become emotionally strong, helping us deal with life's ups and downs more calmly. First off, Buddhism teaches us that feeling stressed or worried is part of being human. We often feel bad because we want things to be different from how they are. But once we start to accept life as it comes, we begin to feel a bit lighter. It's like learning to float in the sea, riding the waves instead of fighting against them. One big help Buddhism gives us is meditation. When we meditate, we're not just sitting quietly, we're getting to know our own minds. Understanding our thoughts and feelings helps us manage them better. Think of this like having a map in a city. When you know where you are, it's easier to find your way around. Mindfulness is another important idea in Buddhism. It means paying attention to what's happening right now, without wishing it were different. This helps us enjoy the good moments and get through the tough ones with a bit more ease. Being kind to ourselves and others is also key. When we mess up, instead of being hard on ourselves, we learn to be gentle. And when we see others struggling, we remember they're just like us, trying their best. This kindness makes us and the people around us feel better. Buddhism teaches patience too. Just as it takes time for a tree to grow, becoming emotionally strong doesn't happen overnight. Learning to be patient with ourselves makes the journey smoother. Everything changes, Buddhism reminds us. No feeling or situation lasts forever. This thought can be very comforting. When we're going through a hard time, it helps to remember that it won't last forever. Sharing our journey with others can make us stronger, whether it's with friends who support us or others practicing Buddhism. Having people to talk to makes the tough times easier. It's like having teammates in a sport. Together you can face bigger challenges. Buddhism also tells us to focus on the here and now. When we do this, we worry less about what's coming next. This doesn't mean we ignore the future, but we don't let it take over our lives. We learn to take responsibility for our own happiness, instead of blaming others. When things go wrong, Buddhism teaches us to look inside ourselves for peace and joy. It's empowering to know we can control how we react to challenges. Finally, Buddhism encourages us to be open to life's mysteries. Not knowing what comes next can be scary, but it can also be an adventure. Being open to whatever happens makes us more flexible and ready to handle life's surprises. To wrap it up, learning to navigate life's secret wars with the help of Buddhism is about understanding that it's okay to feel stressed or worried, but there are ways to deal with these feelings. By practicing meditation and mindfulness, being kind, patient, and focusing on the present, we can find peace in the chaos of life. It's about knowing that things will change, sharing our struggles and victories with others, and finding happiness within ourselves. This path doesn't make life's challenges disappear, but it does give us the tools to face them with a calm heart and a clear mind. 4. Dealing with Manipulation and Emotional Challenges Dealing with people or situations that try to twist things to their advantage can be really tough. It can make us feel confused, upset, or even angry. But there's a way to handle these tricky times with a calm heart, thanks to some wise advice from Buddhism. 
First up, it's important to spot when something's not quite right, like when someone's trying to push us into doing or feeling something that doesn't sit well with us. Buddhism teaches us to be aware and mindful, kind of like being a detective in our own lives. This helps us notice when the clouds of manipulation are gathering. Once we see what's happening, it's time to look inside ourselves for strength. Quiet moments of meditation can be like finding a peaceful spot away from the storm. This calm space helps us think clearly and decide how we want to react instead of just getting swept up in the moment. Buddhism suggests handling tricky situations with a mix of wisdom and kindness. This doesn't mean letting others walk all over us. Instead, it's about reacting in a way that keeps us true to ourselves, turning a harsh word with a gentle reply, which can sometimes make the situation better. Keeping our emotions in check is super important too. When someone's trying to manipulate us, it's easy for our feelings to flip out. Practices like focusing on our breath help us stay calm and avoid doing or saying things we might regret. Sometimes, not saying anything at all is the best response. Choosing not to react can actually be a strong stand. It's like not giving the manipulator the fuel they're looking for, which can be a quiet but powerful way to keep our ground. Knowing ourselves well also makes it harder for others to push us around. The more we understand our own hopes, fears, and where we draw the line, the tougher it becomes for someone to pull the wool over our eyes. It's like having an invisible shield around us. It's totally possible to say what we're okay with and what we're not, all while being kind. It's about being clear and firm without being mean, drawing a line in a gentle but sure way. Talking things through clearly can help avoid the traps manipulators set. When we speak openly and listen well, we leave less room for misunderstandings. This kind of honest chat can make our relationships stronger and healthier. Forgiving those who've tried to twist things can be hard, but it's also freeing. It lets us drop the heavy bags of anger and move on, feeling lighter. Forgiving doesn't mean saying what they did is okay, but it's about not letting it keep hurting us. Lastly, showing our true feelings, even when we're feeling a bit wobbly, is actually a sign of strength. Being honest about what we're going through can stop manipulators in their tracks and shows a deep respect for ourselves. So, when we come across someone trying to manipulate us, Buddhism offers a peaceful toolkit, staying alert, finding our calm center, reacting with kindness, keeping our cool, knowing when to stay quiet, understanding ourselves better, setting kind boundaries, talking things through, letting go of grudges, and being bravely open. This approach doesn't just help us handle tricky moments. It also helps us grow into calmer, kinder people, turning challenges into chances to learn and find peace. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Buddhism in Relationships Buddhism teaches us many valuable lessons that can help us in our relationships with friends, family, and partners. By using these teachings, we can make our connections with others stronger, kinder, and more loving. One of the most important things Buddhism teaches us is to be fully there for each other. This means when we're with someone, we're really listening and paying attention, not just waiting for our turn to talk. Imagine how good it feels when someone truly listens to you. That's the kind of attention we should give to others. Being kind and understanding is another big lesson. This means trying to see things from the other person's point of view and caring about their feelings just as much as we care about our own. It's like putting on someone else's shoes to see how they fit. This can bring us closer and help us understand each other better. Buddhism also reminds us that everything changes, and this can help us appreciate our relationships even more. Knowing that nothing lasts forever encourages us to cherish the time we have with our loved ones and to be more patient and forgiving when things get tough. Letting go of always wanting to be right is another helpful tip. Sometimes, 
Arguments happen because we're too focused on winning rather than finding peace. Buddhism teaches us to let go of this need, making room for more harmony in our relationships. Forgiving is a big deal in Buddhism. It means letting go of old hurts so we can move on. Holding on to anger can make us feel heavy, but forgiving makes us feel light and free. This doesn't mean what happened was okay, but it means we choose peace over staying mad. Talking honestly but kindly is also key. It's important to tell people how we feel, but in a way that doesn't hurt them. This is like choosing the right words that express our thoughts without causing pain. Being thankful for each other can make a big difference too. When we focus on what we love about someone, it makes our relationship stronger and happier. It's like shining a spotlight on all the good things, making them grow even more. Patience is another virtue that can help a lot. It means giving people time to change and grow, just like we need time too. Being patient helps us handle challenges better, knowing that things can get better with time. Looking into our own hearts and understanding why we do things can improve our relationships a lot. This self-awareness helps us see our part in any problems and find ways to make things better. Finally, supporting each other's growth is a beautiful part of Buddhism. It means cheering for each other and being there during hard times. This creates a strong bond where both people feel supported and happy. By bringing these Buddhist teachings into our relationships, we can build deeper and more meaningful connections. It's about being there for each other, being kind, and growing together, which not only makes our relationships better, but also makes our lives more joyful and peaceful. This approach won't make all problems go away, but it gives us tools to deal with them in a loving and positive way, turning every moment we share into a chance to grow closer. 6. Self-Awareness and Growth Through Buddhism Buddhism teaches us a lot about getting to know ourselves better and growing into happier, more peaceful people. It's like going on an adventure inside ourselves, discovering new things about who we are, and learning how to live better with others. The first step on this adventure is to practice mindfulness. This means paying attention to what's happening right now, like noticing how we breathe or how we're feeling, without getting all caught up in our thoughts. It's a bit like watching clouds float by in the sky without having to chase after them. This helps us see what's really going on inside us. Meditation is another important tool. It's like taking a quiet moment to sit with ourselves, away from all the noise and hustle. We can see what thoughts pop up, what bothers us, or what makes us happy. It's like shining a flashlight into the darker corners of our minds to understand ourselves better. Understanding that things always change is a big lesson in Buddhism. Our feelings, thoughts, and even who we think we are can shift from moment to moment. Knowing this helps us not cling too tightly to any one thing, making us feel lighter and more free. Letting go of our ego or the idea of always wanting to look good or be right can really change how we feel. Instead of carrying around the weight of always trying to prove something, we can just be ourselves, which feels a lot more relaxing and genuine. Being kind to ourselves is just as important as being kind to others. Sometimes we're our own toughest critics, but Buddhism teaches us to give ourselves a break and remember that it's okay to make mistakes. It's like giving ourselves a pat on the back instead of a telling off. Listening and talking mindfully can make a huge difference in our relationships. Really hearing what someone else is saying and speaking from the heart can build stronger connections. It's like building a bridge between two people, making it easier to understand and care for each other. Feeling thankful for what we have, even the small things, can make us happier. It's like focusing on the sunshine instead of the shadows, making our days brighter and more enjoyable. Being patient with ourselves, knowing that change takes time, is crucial. Just like a tree doesn't grow tall overnight, we need time to grow and learn. Buddhism teaches us to be okay with taking things one step at a time. Reflecting on why we do things and how we feel helps us get to know ourselves better. It's like being a detective in our own lives, 
uncovering clues that help us understand why we act the way we do. Finally, having friends or a community that supports our journey can make all the difference. Sharing our experiences, learning from others, and feeling like we belong can help us grow in ways we never thought possible. By bringing these Buddhist practices into our lives, we start on a path of discovering who we really are and how we can live more peacefully and happily. It's not always easy, but it's a journey that can bring a lot of joy and wisdom into our lives and the lives of those around us. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. Buddhist Values in Action, Compassion, Generosity, and Integrity Buddhism teaches us about being kind, giving, and honest, which can really change our lives and make the world a nicer place. These aren't just big ideas. They're things we can do every day, making life better for ourselves and others. Being kind means wanting to help others feel better. It's like when we see someone feeling sad and we do something to cheer them up. This kindness is like a light that spreads, making everyone feel a bit brighter. Giving without expecting anything back makes us and others happy. It's not just about giving things, but also about sharing our time and smiles. For example, sharing your lunch with someone who forgot theirs, or listening to a friend who needs to talk. These acts of giving fill the world with friendliness. Being honest means sticking to what we believe is right, even when it's hard. It's like being a strong tree that doesn't move, no matter how windy it gets. Living this way makes us feel peaceful inside, because we know we're doing the right thing. It also makes people trust and respect us more. We can start bringing these good things into our lives with small steps. It could be as simple as listening carefully to someone, helping without being asked, or choosing to do the right thing, even when no one is watching. Paying attention to the present helps us act on these good values. It's like having a little voice inside that reminds us to be kind, give, and stay true to ourselves at the moment. Trying to understand how others feel is part of being kind. If we can imagine what it's like to be in someone else's shoes, we can respond in a way that really helps them. It's like figuring out why a friend is upset and then knowing the best way to cheer them up. Feeling thankful also encourages us to give back. When we're grateful for the good things in our lives, we want to share that goodness with others. It's like enjoying a sunny day and deciding to share your umbrella when it suddenly rains. Being patient is important too. Changes and good habits take time to develop. It's like a river slowly shaping the land. It doesn't happen all at once. Remembering this helps us keep trying, even when it's tough. Looking at ourselves honestly helps us know if we're living as we want to. It's not always easy to see where we might need to improve, but it's important for growing into our best selves. Letting go of hard feelings helps us move forward. When we forgive, it's like putting down a heavy bag we've been carrying. It feels much lighter to walk without it. Having friends who share these values makes everything a bit easier. Together, we can do more good and encourage each other. It's like joining hands to make a stronger circle, able to support more and reach further. By living with kindness, generosity, and honesty, we're not just making our own lives better. We're adding to the happiness in the world. These good actions are like seeds that grow into a garden where everyone can find a bit of shade and rest. It might seem hard sometimes, but the joy and peace we find on this path are worth every step. 8. Navigating Emotional and Psychological Challenges with Buddhism Dealing with tough emotions and thoughts can be hard, but Buddhism offers some gentle ways to help us feel better and stronger. By using these ideas, we can find some peace and learn how to handle difficult times. Being mindful means paying attention to what's happening right now, like noticing how we're feeling or what we're thinking without getting too caught up in it. It's like watching clouds drift by in the sky. We see them but don't try to hold on to them. This helps us understand our feelings without letting them push us around. Meditation is another helpful tool. It's like taking a quiet break to just sit and breathe, giving our busy minds a rest. 
Over time, it helps us stay calm and clear, even when things get tough. Understanding that it's natural to have ups and downs can also make us feel better. Often, we feel upset because we want things to be different. Recognizing that wanting things to change can cause us pain might help us let go a little and feel more at ease. Being kind to ourselves is really important. Sometimes, we're our own worst critics. Buddhism teaches us to be gentle with ourselves, remembering that it's okay not to be perfect and that everyone has hard times. It's like giving ourselves a kind pat on the back instead of being harsh. Sending kind thoughts to ourselves and others through loving-kindness meditation makes us feel connected and good inside. It's like warming up by a cozy fire and then sharing that warmth with everyone around us. Finding things to be thankful for, even when it's hard, can change how we see our situation. Looking for small, good things in our day can make our hearts lighter and remind us there's still good in the world. Being patient with ourselves is important too, especially when we're going through a rough patch. Just like a seed needs time to grow into a plant, we need time to heal and get better. Trusting that things will improve can help us keep going. Remembering that everything changes, including our tough times, can offer comfort. Knowing that this too shall pass reminds us that hard times don't last forever and better days are ahead. Talking things out carefully with others can help us through rough spots. It's like navigating a boat through tricky waters, making sure we don't run aground. Being open but thoughtful with our words can help us avoid misunderstandings and find support. Lastly, having friends or a group who understands what we're going through can make a big difference. Sharing our journey with others makes our load feel lighter. It's like walking a tough path with friends who can help show the way and make the journey easier. Using these Buddhist ideas doesn't take away all the hard stuff in life, but it gives us some tools to help us cope better. It's about learning to go through tough times with a little more peace and a lot more kindness towards ourselves and others. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Philosophical Friendships The Buddhist Path to Mutual Growth Buddhism teaches us about a special kind of friendship that's not just about having fun, but also about helping each other grow into better people. These friendships are really precious because they encourage us to be our best. Imagine having a friend who's like a mirror, showing you what you need to see about yourself. They might challenge you, but they always do it with kindness, because they want to help you grow. It's like having someone who helps you. See both your strengths and the spots where you can get better. Having friends who want the same good things in life as you do can make a big difference. They cheer you on, keep you focused, and remind you of what's really important. Walking this path together means you help each other stick to your goals, especially when it gets tough. It's important to be real with each other in these friendships. You can talk about deep things, your hopes, worries, and dreams, without feeling judged. This honesty creates a safe space where you can explore your feelings and thoughts openly. Listening is just as important as talking. When we listen to our friends, we're not just waiting for our turn to speak. We're really trying to understand where they're coming from. This kind of listening helps us learn and grow a lot. These friends stick by you through the good times and the bad. Whether you're celebrating or facing challenges, having someone who cares and gets it can mean everything. It's like having someone to lean on when the road gets bumpy. Sometimes, we need a little nudge to try new things or face challenges. A true friend gives you the courage to take steps you might not take on your own. They're there to cheer you on and help you up if things don't go as planned. Sharing what we learn with each other makes these friendships even richer. When we talk about our experiences or what we've discovered, we help each other see the world in new ways. It's like piecing together a big puzzle where every piece makes the picture clearer. It's important to respect that we're all on our own journeys. Even though we're friends, each of us has our own path to follow. Celebrating our differences and supporting each other's unique journeys make our friendship stronger. And celebrating each other's successes 
fills our friendship with joy and thankfulness. Seeing how far we've come and being happy for each other's wins is a big part of what makes these friendships so special. These kinds of friendships, inspired by Buddhism, are about helping each other live better, more meaningful lives. By building these kinds of deep connections, we not only make our own lives better, but also add kindness and understanding to the world around us. 10. Valuing Simplicity and Contentment A Buddhist approach to living Buddhism teaches us a wonderful way of living that's all about enjoying the simple things and being happy with what we have. This idea helps us see the beauty in everyday moments and find a calm, peaceful feeling inside instead of always wanting more and more. Loving simplicity means paying attention to the things that really matter. It's about not chasing after lots of stuff, but finding joy in the little things, like really tasting your favorite snack or feeling the breeze on a warm day. These small moments can make us really happy being content is realizing it's okay to be where we are right now, even as we hope for different things in the future. It's like being on a trip and enjoying the view along the way, not just waiting to get to the end. Saying thank you for the good parts of our day helps us see how much we have. Even little things, like a kind word from a friend or a cozy bed, show us our lives are full of gifts. It's like looking at a picture and noticing all the wonderful colors, not just one. Not comparing ourselves to others frees us from a lot of worry. We all have our own paths, and happiness comes from walking our own journey, not from having more things than someone else. It's like running your own race at your own speed. Paying attention to now, the present moment, helps us love the simple things. Being totally in the moment makes everything more beautiful, from a walk in the park to a chat with a friend. It's about truly seeing, hearing, and feeling the world around us. Finding joy in quiet and calm moments shows us another way to be happy. Instead of always looking for excitement, we can find peace in just being still. It's like enjoying the quiet parts of a song as much as the loud ones. Sharing what we have, like our time or a smile, makes us and others feel good. It reminds us that being rich isn't about what we own, but about what we share. It's like lighting someone else's candle. It makes everything brighter without dimming your own light. Knowing that wanting more and more never ends can help us be content with what we have. There's always something else we could want, but realizing that more stuff doesn't make us happier can set us free. It's like enjoying a good meal without worrying about what's next. Seeing how beautiful and simple nature is can teach us a lot. Nature doesn't hurry or show off, yet it's full of life and beauty. It's like learning from a tree, which just is, offering shade and beauty without trying hard. Building a group of friends who also like living simply can encourage us to keep going. When we share our experiences and learn from each other, it helps us remember what's important. It's like walking together on a path, helping each other stay the course. By bringing these Buddhist ideas into our lives, we find a deeper happiness and peace. It's not about having less just to have less, but about realizing the best parts of life aren't things. This way of living is about making our hearts and minds simpler, letting in more happiness and calm. Conclusion We've been on a pretty cool journey, learning about how Buddhist ideas can help us live better lives. We've talked about enjoying the moment, being kind, and how true happiness comes from simple things, not just stuff we buy. Think about it like a path in a beautiful forest. Along the way, we learn to slow down and notice the little things, like the sound of leaves under our feet or the way the light filters through the trees. We also found out how important it is to have good friends who walk with us, helping and learning from each other. We discovered it's okay to have tough days because they teach us to be stronger. And we saw that being happy doesn't mean having everything, but being thankful for what we do have. It's kind of like realizing that the best parts of a day might be a laugh with a friend 
or a peaceful moment alone. Starting to live this way might seem a bit tricky at first, but that's all right. It's all about trying a little each day. It's like planting a tiny seed and watching it grow. With some care and time, it turns into something beautiful. This journey isn't over. Every day is a new chance to use what we've learned to make not just our lives better, but also to bring a bit of happiness to others around us. By living like this, we spread kindness and joy, like ripples in a pond. Let's keep these lessons close to our hearts and try to live them out. Let's be patient, kind, and always ready to share a smile. Together we can make a big difference, one small step at a time. Thanks for being on this journey, and here's to bringing a bit more light and love into the world every day. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.